to protect. That's exactly what the Chinese Taipei are doing at this stage. Nidhi goes back. I think she's gone back with a bonus. Yes, she has. As she has, and again, it's Lin that arrives. So, a couple of points early. Now, India will start to play a higher line of defense because when they start pinching the bonuses from under our noses, you'll start to see the experience of the likes of Ritu Negi, Sakshi Kumari as well. They won't like that. There you go. On cue, as I was saying it, Manish, looking for the bonus. Ritu Negi says, not this time. First points for the captain. Yes, Ritu Negi, India star, right corner. Waited for the right, the right moment. Ankle hold, one of her uh, primary skills. Five on court. Ritu Negi, what a story for her. A story of struggle to glory. Born in a remote vigil, village of Himachal. Himachal now gold medalist in our country. And you've got five players actually from Himachal Pradesh in this Indian setup. She used to take long walks to even get to her bus to get to training. But this has actually been really good from the Chinese Taipei. Feng being utilized a lot. We're seeing a swap between Lin and Feng. Feng from the left side. Very positive start. I have to say, this is not going to be an easy encounter whatsoever. She's got rid of Sakshi Kumari on that left corner. That is a high quality raid. Yes, got a hand touch. Excellent uh, reflexes there uh, from Feng. She, did she get a bonus there? Pooja Hatwal, I think so. The depth of talent in Indian Kabaddi, amazing. But I actually really like seeing the fact that Chinese Taipei have come out hard. Because it shows you where World Kabaddi is heading as well, Manish. Overall, we've seen that Iran are the current powerhouses, the gold medalists from last time around. I do expect India to come out firing and take gold. And we're seeing a change in formation as well. On that left corner, you've now got Jyoti, who slips into that spot. Oh, again, plenty of experience for Jyoti, 26 years of age from Himachal Pradesh. And that's what you'll get for this Indian side. Lots of all-rounders as Nidhi Sharma comes into raid for the first time. Also a product of Himachal Pradesh Kabaddi. It's five uh, players from Himachal, a part of the Indian squad now. Expected to win. Yes, but expected to win Big India. It's uh, it's about reputation now. The Asian Games and a goal for India, the men's and the women's, was uh, pretty much a given. It was expected. It was par for the course. It hasn't happened uh, in 2018. So clearly, in the Indian Kabaddi contingent has a lot to prove. Meanwhile, match point here for Chirag and Satvik. They took the first game 21-11. And there you go, they've taken this one 21-16. So, comfortable win for our Indian men's doubles pairing. Expected to go deep in this competition. They've conquered the first level of competition in the round of 32. Satvik, Sairaj, Ranki Reddy and Chirag Shetty going through comfortably. They say it's a whole new breed that's hybrid by nature, a silent predator, and it's on the prowl. Taking on the city with ease, full of energy, the new breed rises above all others. A new breed of SUVs, the advanced Gran Vitara. Rule every road. Mixer. There you have it, Chirag and Satvik, comfortable winners in this first encounter for them. The round of 32, as expected, slightly tougher fight in the second game, but the smiles are out for all to see, and that is an easy win. We'll turn our attention over to a tougher encounter, because at the moment, with under 10 minutes to play in this first half, Chinese Taipei leading 6-5. As we reminded you earlier, this is a side that did beat Iran last time around. They made the semi-finals in 2018. I've got Manish Batavia alongside myself, Suhail Chandok, for this one. And again, what I like about Feng is that she's got the ability to raid from the left and the right, Manish. One of those dual-sided raiders, much like Rahul Chaudhary, for many of you guys who are more familiar with bigger names in Kabaddi. And another bonus for Feng. Yes, I suppose uh, they're looking for uh, the bonus points uh, on that corner. And I think the fear of Ritu Negi 
uh, needs to be shown a lot more. I'd like to see a dash coming in from the opposite end. I don't think there's much fear though, Manish, when you look at it. Chinese Taipei really going hard at India. And good work from Pooja Hatwala. Not for the first time, that running hand touch, getting rid of the left corner. That's the aggression we want to see. A bonus plus one brings scores back to level terms. I'd like to see the right cover, the right corner, put a little more pressure. Discourage. Uh, oh, yes, there's the ankle hold this time from the left corner. Sakshi was there, she was onto her like a flash, like a leopard. Another tackle from the Indian defenders, that's more like it. Defense is India's strength, and that's what you want to see more of. When the left corner comes in, watch out for number 12, Jyoti. She will be in there in a flash from that right cover region. And that's the combination you look for. Left corner, right cover. Right corner, left cover. They have to move in unison. The communication between those pairs has to be so good. And the timing as well. A quick pursuit attempted by Yu Chen Hu. This is where India will look to come strong. There you go. Left cover comes in, but that is a multi-point raid. Could we have the first super raid of this encounter? They're counting the girls at the moment, and that's not a good sign ever. Watch this. Comes in looking for the ankle hold. Does the left cover. I think the left corner should have come in uh, with that support. She moved away. She backtracked after that uh, ankle hold was executed. Another point for Pooja there. These are nervy moments, Manish. And it's good to see a tough encounter to start for India. In that left cover, Pushpa Rana went for it. And she just snuck away. This is looking for that toe touch, the Chinese Taipei number 8, uh, Feng. Here she is against six defenders. The bonus still active, very much available. Will she go for it? She's trying to push the cover uh, defenders away. I think she's got a bonus. 10-9, Chinese Taipei back out in front. I love the depth of Kabaddi talent that we're seeing from Chinese Taipei. It shows you that they are ready for bigger things. It shows you that India are being tested in the world of Kabaddi. Yes, India can't afford to really rest on its uh, past laurels. Other teams across Asia starting to get better. A lot of Indian coaching talent has been going to other Asian countries as well. Srinivas Reddy, one of the known names in Indian Kabaddi. He was uh, part of the Bangladeshi team until a few days ago. Yeah, he'll have to hurry back for the, the auction soon. But again, bonus attempted by Lin. These are really good signs for Chinese Taipei at the moment. Wow, what a half of Kabaddi we are witnessing here. Once again, one versus five. Nidhi looking for her first points. Does she have the gumption, the gumption and the guts to go in for a toe touch or a hand touch? She's sort of drawing, luring that feet. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! It's a multi-point raid! The Chinese Taipei claim is just one. I suppose there were two. Positive raid that from Nidhi. Yeah, I think just the one, to be honest. Might have just been Feng, who now comes in to look for the points, but a good raid from Nidhi Sharma. Nice to see India use both the right and the left side in terms of the raiding quality, but Feng has been the difference. And the coach of this side Wei Yang Sai, he should be really, really happy with the way things are going at the moment. Lots of bonuses being conceded on that uh, left corner uh, area, Pooja Hatfala. Again, the one versus four. Uh, she has been tackled well, not quite. A very weak looking hold was attempted by that left corner. Was it to be? India's coach, of course, the legendary Tejaswini Bai. Someone who has captained India in the past as well. An amazing history of success that she has. And yes. it will be alongside her. Kavita Sevraj, of course, that you just saw on your screens. Pages Vini Bai, captain of India, the 2014-ish games, also a joy awardee. Kavita. Bhangar mein bhavishya chipa hai. Aaj bhavishya dikhra hai meruko. Ham loge dunia mein chine ke liye nahi aate. Ham loge dunia mein kamane ke liye aate. On a lot of these uh, 
Sports. Just watch out for uh, the bonuses that are being leaked on that left corner zone. And that's where Ritu Negi is going to come in with maybe a chain tackle or a dash. Haven't seen a dash so far. They're trying for another bonus. Hey, you'll see the dashes generally from those cover regions. Jyoti alongside Pushpa Rana in that left cover. But so far, Chinese Taipei is still hanging on to that lead. And they've used Lin sparingly. They've gone to Feng more often. This is going to be a tough contest. Referee for this one from Iran. Abu Jafari is having a, a look at the tape saying that bonus line needs a bit of work. Yeah, speaking of the of the Iranians as well, uh, another emerging or a powerhouse that's already emerged. The other one that's sort of uh, broken the Indian domination at the Asian Games in Kabaddi. Soel Chando, who's now uh, a part of the Kabaddi fraternity in a decision-making position, has also uh, what a fancy for Iranian Kabaddi talent. <laughs> yeah, we've just actually hired the Iranian head coach at uh, Yumumba, so uh, exciting times for me personally as well, but for Indian Kabaddi as well. It's it's so nice to see the combination. Manish, I mean, I've had the opportunity to be a part of Pro Kabaddi's rise over the last 10 years, uh, ever since Game 1 back in 2014. And to see a World Cup, you know, a Dubai Masters, at the Asian Games, see India lose to Iran as well. It shows you the depth of talent of World Kabaddi. Korea beating India at the World Cup. Uh, unheard of things, to be honest. Surprisingly enough, the Iranian women's team has uh, roped in an Indian coach in Shaila Jain. You know, the Iranian women's team, I'll tell you a little story. They actually spent about 10 or 15 days in Mumbai very recently. They were taken care of very well by the Iranian Federation, put up at a wonderful hotel. They played a lot of matches, practice matches against Indian teams. They weren't of the highest caliber, they said, against them, which means that they're a lethal side. And so they have spent enough time trying to practice for the Asian Games because, again, they don't play as much kabaddi as our Indian girls do. Having said that, that's why this is even more impressive from the Chinese Taipei because our Indian girls play a lot more kabaddi. This time getting rid of Jyoti in that right cover and suddenly a two-point lead for Chinese Taipei here. That's also led to a revival now. It's one versus four. Pushpa now looking for a touch. He's gone deep. I think she's got a touch, yes. Very, very well executed hand touch by that by Pushpa. It's still uh, very, very close. It, it was expected to be a, a one-way contest. India clearly starting as favourites, but the Chinese Taipei have surprised us with their tenacity. We expect that Feng has been amazing to watch so far as well. I have to say, she has been one of the standouts in this matchup. Yet again, she's someone who's looked for the bonus, not necessarily under the corner, but sometimes in between the second in line, the left in, and actually the left cover as well. It's an interesting place to look for a bonus. One versus three, a super tackle opportunity in some sense, but Pushpa. This is someone that India will lean on because we look at the variation in the way we use our players. She is an all-rounder, left cover, turns into a right raider. And also an update for you from our Hockey India hammering Bangladesh on the men's pool A side of things. But what a job Feng has done for her team so far. She's got every trick in the book. We've seen the bonuses. We just saw a scorpion kick attempt, Ritu Negi being kept busy in that right corner. Well, that scorpion kick reminds me of uh, Manjeet Chiller from the old days. Manjeet Jasveer Singh, for me, was the king of the scorpion at the Jaipur Pink Panthers uh, side back in the day as well. Yeah, memories just start to flow in when you think of it. But at the moment, India will be hoping that this is nothing but a blip in this first half. Looking for the running hand touch. One versus three, always a tricky proposition. A diving ankle hold, and I think that's a clean-up act. This could be an all-out. What a time to do it as well for Pooja Hatwala. Could be three plus two. Yes, a complete demolition job from Pooja Hatwala, the lone raider who's kept India in the hunt. One versus three, India now have a four-point lead. 
Three plus two for the all out. It's been a while since I said that. <laughs> what a time to do it. Pooja Hatwala at the perfect time with a breakaway raid. But just like that, Feng comes back firing. This is really good from Chinese Taipei. After an all out, remember, for all of you at home, that might be new to Kabaddi. Comes an all in, so all seven back on the mat. Oh, and Nidhi now in trouble. That is a good tackle coming in from Chinese Taipei. It's number four, Su Chin Huang, with the effort from the cover region. So I suppose after that all out, Chinese Taipei have uh, been given a bit of a wake up call. They really had to get in and, and tackle Nidhi on that occasion. 17 15, India still in the lead. Now that is. Uh, we're approaching closer to the end of that uh, first half. Should be the final raid, the buzzer raid of this first half, and India will flatline that defence. One versus five, the bonus line not active any longer. What a first half of Kabaddi we have had in India's first outing at the Asian Games here at Hangzhou. They are being tested by Chinese Taipei. Ritu Negi and co are really being put to the test by the likes of Xiu Chen Feng, Yimin Lin and Chinese Taipei just two points adrift. India lead 17-15 at halftime. A big 15 minutes still to come. नंगे दूध संपादने मार्ग बे कौन उस शो के लाई ला दूध ना संपादने मार्ग दला अदन मार्ग बे को Game on, play along. Game is the key or key here. Play along, self, Sony Limper. So, now, what will you do? We are in Hangzhou, where India is being tested. In a few words, we'll have to go from the coaches. They just went by. Kavita Sevaraj as well. We'll have a chat with the girls. It is a powerful team. A power-packed team. Ritu Negi, the captain. Five girls from Himachal Pradesh, gold medalists. Coach Bhaskaran, I think, that is also involved. He is a Pro Kabaddi winning coach. He's also the coach of the men's side. He's been called in. So suddenly, India feeling the threat of Chinese Taipei. Going to have a chat with uh, Coach Bhaskaran to ask him what that red pieces on the floor maybe a receiver but uh, maybe send him a message after this match and ask but they're feeling the pressure Manish I've got Manish Batavia alongside myself Suhail Chandok here and she has been the difference Feng for me in this first half Siu Chen Feng from Chinese Taipei yeah she's uh, been stealing those bonuses in that left corner region now so well, I'm a little bit surprised with what Chinese Taipei have done today Truth be told, I wasn't expecting a contest like this from the Chinese Taipei. Hangar me bhavishya chipa hai. Aaj bhavishya dikh raha hai mere ko. Ham log ye dunya me chine ke liye nahi aate. Ham log ye dunya me kamane ke liye aaj. Savings account me confidence jama kara ke rakha hai maine. Cash bhi aa jayenge. And they would have been stunned by what the opposition has done so far. I mean, for Coach Bhaskaran to have to be called in, it tells you that they're up against it. Having a long chat, actually, at the moment with Ritu Negi in that right corner. It's going to be a KG second half, a big 15 minutes to come.
as real as it gets. Well, a look at uh, both teams uh, at the halfway mark. India looking a touch nervous, and she's. Game on, play along. KBC Dekhi or Kenya. Play along, sirf Sony Limper. So, no budget, what will we do? That is a sign that India are feeling the pressure, but also. To me, that's not the best sign because there could be three different messaging points going out. You want one voice to be heard. Tejaswini Bai is a legend in her own right, and I would have actually liked for the entire team to come together, have one message go to them, and take that message forward. So for three different clusters to be going on, I think that just shows you that this Indian side knows that they're up against a high-quality team from Chinese Taipei. So. They are being tested, and the pressure most certainly on. And then there's the captain Ritu Negi as well. She'd have a thing or two as well to say. Yeah, and you saw Coach Baskaran actually spending most time with Ritu Negi and Sakshi Kumari, the two corners for India. So I wonder whether he's had a separate chat with them. But I just hope they're all on the same page. Second half underway, and here we go. Looking for the bonus instantly is Pooja Hatwala. Something that we saw. Chinese Taipei's players using a lot more in this first half. I think she's got the bonus. She's opened her account in this second half. Very tall player, great reach as well. At the start, I thought they were protecting that bonus line, but clearly, uh, it's it's Pooja's uh, height that is uh, working to her advantage, and she should use it. I haven't seen massive tackles come in from Chinese Taipei, so actually, why not test that depth? Go for the bonus. You might even come away with a bonus plus one, plus two. That's what Pooja has to trust herself with. At the moment, no bonus active, and that actually helps India. Maybe playing with five, looking for the bonus will be a good tactic here. Keep looking for the bonuses, play on that defense of five, and don't give the bonus to the likes of Feng because touch points haven't come so easy for Chinese Taipei. They've got bonuses in the past. Pushpa claiming a hand touch, he get it. Yes. Now India have decided to attack that uh, right corner area. A bonus in the first trade, a hand touch in the second. India now looking a little more settled. They'll be happy with what they've done in the first minute and a half. Clearly, India have got to do to the Chinese Taipei what they did to them. Oh yes, the dash came in, but not enough power from Pushpa. Went in for a solo dash, and then the escape. The Pushpa Rana just not getting in front of the radar. There, you can never pull off a block and dash. From that far aside, there you go. Exactly what we were just saying moments ago. Look for it. When you look for that bonus, they will give you a bonus plus one or two. This could be a super raid. I've got a feeling it could be a bonus plus two, or not a bonus but two instead, because she pinches the bonus line, doesn't actually look for it. I think she got the left cover as well. While on her way back, one for the road, she said, Pooja. Is it bonus plus two, or they've decided to review it? I don't think it's a bonus, but I think it could be at least two points. Two touches for sure, Sohail. We'll have a closer look at this. I think she faked the attempt on the bonus line. You'll see a lot of players doing it on the men's side. Expect that from Naveen Kumar. He is one of the best at it. Mohit Goyat, another one I love watching, who teases the bonus line and then pinches points away with actually. The point being offered up. There is a quick look at the coach as well. Wei Yang Sai. There you go. Just as I said, no bonus but two points. Teasing that bonus. This is where India will now start to show its pedigree. India looking a lot more settled in the first two minutes of the second half. They were a bit uneasy. There was a certain uh, unease in that first half. Now looking a lot more uh, calmer. Just the one. Sakshi went for it. I suppose that's what Baskar maybe told him to go for that ankle hold. It didn't work on that occasion. Told her correction. Sakshi Kumari on that left corner. I actually think they need to sit back because Feng is turning out to be a little bit of a one-trick pony for me. She looks for the bonuses, and if you just sit back, allow her to look for the bonus, and then pounce, you'll get tackles. Meanwhile. India getting points in a flurry at the moment. It's a rapid start to the second half. India out in front by five, and here comes Yahan Chuang. Yet again, 
I think India need to just sit tight, wait for the bonus attempt, and then come in. Pooja Negi, there you go. On cue from that right side. One of the first points for Pooja Negi with the block. Ritu Negi, rather. That's exactly what was missing in that first half. They were leaking bonuses. Ritu Negi a lot more alert. There's so much more alacrity to her movement in this second half. That's how you block a player. I was already looking forward to Pooja raiding, so I said, Pooja Negi, why not? But Ritu Negi with her second tackle point of the day so far. And she's starting to come good. Ritu knows that as captain, she needs to showcase that leadership in that right corner. Pooja with a very mature raid, not looking for too much. She knows that Chinese Taipei now depleted. And watch out for that combination on that right side. You'll see the right cover, Jyoti, alongside Ritu Negi. When Jyoti goes, Ritu will come with her. A bonus, meanwhile, for Feng. She has continued to look for it. Just thinking, there are so many players for Himachal in this Indian squad. Uh, over the years, Haryana has been a hot spot as well. But Himachal Pradesh has also given India a lot of uh, great names. Ajay Thakur, Baldev Singh, Vishal Bharadwaj, Pooja Thakur as well. Yeah, the likes of Surinder Singh as well. Uh, a lot of talent coming in from Himachal and Rajasthan as well. Uh, actually, Surinder, someone who's grown in stature recently. But overall, when you start to understand the might of Himachal, the girls especially, they keep delivering gold. It's one of those areas of strong kabaddi depth when it comes to our women's kabaddi. And yet again, though, leaking bonuses. And that is something that Tejaswini Bai and Kavita Sevaraj will have to look at going forward. Because when you come up against the likes of Iran, they will watch this closely and think, OK, India's defence is offering bonus points. They will look to take it. Has been tackled. Nidhi Sharma has been tackled, slightly slow off the blocks and trying to escape there. It took a touch uh, too long to, to get going, Nidhi Sharma. What a tackle from Yu Chen Hu, that is. Goes in with a thigh hold, a very strong one. And in comes the support from Yu Jung Wu from that left corner. Good signs for Chinese Taipei. I think India should take this win in the end, Manish. But I'm really happy to see the level of Kabaddi go up a notch around the world. That's always a positive sign. Yes, if they look at the slightly bigger picture... Bhangar mein bhavishya chipa hai. Aaj bhavishya dikh raha hai meruko. Ham log ye dunia mein chine ke liye nahi aate. Ham log ye dunia mein kamane ke liye aate. Savings account mein confidence jama kara ke rakha hai mein. Cash bhi aja hai. She on one corner, Ritu Negi on the other. She's already had one dash. Sakshi a failed attempt. Will they come in with the chain tackle? Oh, I think this there's an attempt at a hand touch from Feng. No bonus. Will she show the guts to go down? Oh, yes! The hold! She has been clawed back inside. No escape this time for the star raider of the Chinese Taipei. Out you go, said the Indians. This is what we were saying earlier, wasn't it, Manish? She's got only that look at the bonus, and whenever that opportunity comes, there's also an opportunity for India's defence, and now India starting to run away with the contest. Pooja starting to express herself a bit more, the left raider from Haryana, and Chinese Taipei being reduced to fewer ladies yet again. It's a five-point lead, comfortably ahead, I think, at this stage. Well, you can go into the lobby once that touch has been activated. Another uh, excellent piece of tackling from the Indian defence. Ankle hold. Sakshi, Kumari, left corner. That's all I'm going to say about that because we've been waiting for it. Sakshi and Ritu Negi, the two corners. And they've got a lot of power between them. Out goes Wu Yu Zhong and in comes Kang Yong Xiao. Substitution, one versus two. Time for, now, for Pooja to now... Do another cleanup act. She's tall. Will she lure those defenders towards her? She's claiming a hand touch. It looks very, very confident. Saw the flutter of the shirt. I just wonder whether she thinks she's definitely got it. On the other side, actually, Su Chin Huang has been a very impressive defender on the right side of the defense. Yeah, the touch has been given. Just thought I saw that flutter 
of that jersey. Last woman standing for Chinese Taipei. Sit back, allow the bonus India and wait for the opportunity. Wang Suchin, the lone woman standing for the Chinese Taipei. She's claiming a hand touch. No, not quite. Ritunagi with the chain tackle. Did they cross that midline? I suppose they did. 100%. And that's a powerful raid because she's literally taken India's captain with her. They allowed the bonus, there you go, waltzing in, that was part of the plan. But after that, that is wonderful work from the Raider. Su Chen Huang, who's been good with defence, contributing with a raid. And Chinese Taipei back to three, the lead down to four again. And it's one versus three for Pooja Hatwala. Seven minutes to go, is that going to be the twist actor? They were looking for somehow... This defensive three has gobbled up Pooja. It's a big fish. Both the big fish is out. Feng on one end, Pooja on the other. Now the defense will be tested. Under seven minutes to go, a two-point lead only. And two points, remember, for a super tackle opportunity. What a job they have done. A defensive three, always a tricky one. Pooja deciding to go for the risk. And as a result, suddenly, look at the spring in the step of Feng. Now one versus four. To me, Manish, this is the toughest opportunity for a Raider. One versus four, always difficult. She is claiming a touch on Sakshi. Sakshi Kumari going toe to toe. Feng insisting she's got the touch and it's been given. It has been given. India down to three ladies now and they're going to review this. Sakshi saying there was so much of a gap. Was it the jersey she touched? In which case, both players can claim very confidently. Sakshi may not have realized that touch, we'll find out. In the replay, ah, it's tough to say, tough to say. How do you overturn this? Only if you have conclusive evidence to overturn that call. Great point. Remember, you need conclusive evidence to overturn a decision on court. And from what we just saw in that replay, unless there's a good slow-mo, very tough to take a stand. It was a very good attempt from Feng, the out-and-out -out best raider for Chinese Taipei, looking for that hand touch on the run. Game on, play along. KBC Dicky or Kenya. Play along, Sirf Sony Limper. So, Nobaji, what will you do? Looking confident alongside Ming Chun Chen, the two coaches for Chinese Taipei. Nervy moments for Team India. You need conclusive evidence to overturn that ruling. India need uh, their captain and their star defender back on court as soon as possible. She needs to be revived. Feng has come back. In the last two or three minutes, we've seen uh, the Chinese Taipei starting to fight back. Let's take a look. Possibly the only angle available. Was there a touch? Tough to say from this angle. And as you said, you've got Jyoti playing the right corner. I'd like to see her higher up. When you see a run from Feng attacking the left corner, normally Ritu Negi would be much higher up. Jyoti, of course, a right cover normally. Yep, review unsuccessful. Sakshi Kumari has to make her way to the bench. And the point has been awarded. And it means just a one-point lead now for India. And there is risk of India being wiped out. An all-out could mean the Chinese Taipei will come back into the lead. Very crucial raid. Can Pooja get one or two to keep that lead going? It's one versus five. She's gone deep inside, looking for a touch. It's Pushpa. No yeah. bonus available, remember? Yeah, Pushpa Rana. And pressure suddenly telling on India. But that's a smart raid, a very mature raid from Pushpa because she knows there's a super tackle opportunity on the other side. Not easy for Chinese Taipei. Let's try and listen in to the coaches here. Kavita Sevaraj having a chat. Meanwhile, on this side of things, Wei Yang Tsai, don't think he needs to say too much. Just keep up the momentum. What a match to start. The Kabaddi side of the Asian Games here. Men will play tomorrow, but this is an unbelievable encounter. 26-27 with under six minutes to play. Both Manish Batavia and myself, Suhail Chandok, we are loving it. 
Absolutely, and good to see the Indian team being tested. Jyoti, right corner. No Sakshi, remember. Pushpa, left corner. They've got to sit back. Do they play safe? Do they go for the kill? It's a tricky one as well. Will they come in for the chain tackle? The dash could uh, could come in as well. Chinese Taipei is number one. Lini Min here, looking for that kick. Has she got it? She says no, but what I like from Chinese Taipei is that they're not using Feng in this raid. They're protecting her from a super tackle. They're using Lin when India are down to four or three. And that's good court awareness, good awareness of the situation from the coach as well of Chinese Taipei. Feng is on court. She's uh, in the center, number eight. But they turn to Min when India are down to three. And again, an attempt on the run. Now the next raid for India will be a do or die raid. And you can see that suggestion coming in as well. So I wonder whether Feng will take a risk here. Oh, what a raid. What a raid that is from the star raider of the Chinese Taipei. Getting pushed by Rana with a dive. Well, this is a fangdom from uh, the Chinese Taipei. Feng Shui just dominating the proceedings. Drew, uh, drew that defender in. Got a touch. It's one versus two now. Gets the bonus under pressure. Very important that one. Nidhi Sharma. On court with Jyoti on that right side. Nidhi, the Raider, Jyoti, more of a defender. I just wonder whether she'll go after Jyoti and leave Nidhi on this left corner. It's a smart bit of work so far from men. There you go. That's the perfect raid. She knows that Jyoti is the defender. So she pushes one player that is Nidhi into the corner and then goes after the one defender on court. Would you believe it? India on the verge of handing an all out across. But she's claiming a touch. That is a big mistake. A bonus plus one. That is perfect for India. Nidhi might have just, uh, with that raid, she might have just saved India the blushes. It was looking like the Chinese Taipei were going to get into the lead. Bonus plus one means with just uh, over three minutes to go, India a two-point lead now. And a change up, Pooja Narwal goes back onto the bench. And I think it's Priyanka Pilania who's come on. A lot of experience in this Indian setup. Four girls who've been a part of the Asian Games before. Priyanka is one of them. Feng has been extremely acrobatic through her efforts. On that right corner now is Nidhi Sharma. Priyanka in the left. Diving, sliding. Great work from the experienced Priyanka Pilania. Well, Feng was very close to that lobby. Remember, you can't get into get inside that lobby without activating a touch. Looking for a bonus and a touch. Two-point lead. Roughly two and a half minutes to go in this match. India might just scrape through here. Is there a touch? Is there one? No. Chinese Taipei playing a high line here. Yeah, they're looking for a bonus, actually. And I don't think the bonus has been taken either. So they are playing a high line, even though the bonus was on offer. That's great defending from Chinese Taipei. And yet again, here we go. They've turned back to Min Lin and the mistake coming in from Priyanka Pilania. India down to one. Nidhi, last woman standing. The lead down to one yet again with two minutes on the clock. What a match this is. Now then, another opening for the Chinese Taipei. If they, if they can inflict another all out here, they will get into the lead. Last minute instructions from... Uh, they just finished by the chief coach of the Indian team. Actually, Kavita Sevraj having a chat. But uh, really, really important times as well. And this is going to be a huge opportunity. Honestly, absolutely monstrous opportunity this for this Chinese Taipei side. They just finished by and Kavita Sevraj together. And they just finished by, of course, on court, just there, having a chat. And an important one. They just finished by is a legend of Indian Kabaddi. Her words, working, you would think, but not given. So Nidhi going back for round two. Not given again. This should be a surrender raid. 
Now, will they give her the review? This is a massive moment in the game. They just winning by again on her feet. Kavita Sevaraj sitting down anxiously. This is a massive moment. Is there a touch? Yet again, it's not been given on court. So they need conclusive evidence to overturn it. The toe touch on the left corner. Bonus. If bonus is the call, it'll still be a surrender raid on the other side. Now, Kavita Sevaraj getting animated. Tejaswini Bhai saying, okay, okay, it's okay, relax. Yes, that one point could be the difference between the two sides. Slightly anxious moments, more so for India. They know that that one point could be as good as goal for them. They have been pushed to the brink. Can Nidhi Sharma do what seems a bit improbable at this stage? Remember, for the last uh, five or six minutes, India hasn't had their... Bhangar mein bhavishya chipa hai. Aaj bhavishya dikh raha hai mere ko. हम लोग ये दुनिया में जीने के लिए नहीं आते हम लोग ये दुनिया में कमाने के लिए आ जाए सेविंग्स अकाउंट में कॉन्फिडेंस जमा करा के रखा है मैंने कैश भी आ जाएंगे ओपनिंग एनकाउंटर चाइनीज टाइपे ऑन द वर्ज ऑफ ट्राइंग टू पुल ऑफ एन अपसेट हियर निधि शर्मा लास्ट वुमेन ऑन कोर्ट नो बोनस गिवन Oh my god that is massive and now a surrender raid and an all out opportunity for Chinese Taipei it will give them 3 points and a lead of 2 going into the final minute and a half surely lin will get the job done there you go all out chinese taipei a lead of 2 will be the result that's a really good thing to do if you have to get all out Make sure you save some time. So 85 seconds left. She did not waste time. Pooja now looking for a multi-point raid. A two-point gap now. She's claiming a, a bonus. She's got one. Now the gap is one point. We're close to a minute left to go. We are headed for a photo finish. So Hill, just wonder whether Feng will waste a bit of time as well. Oh, looks for a bonus. Looked like a decent attempt again. She's looking for the bonus. Pretty much under the left cover to the right of the left in. Very interesting tactic. Two looks at the bonus from Feng, not been given, not been given. No bonus given to Feng, and a timeout called. Strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen. This is a finish for the ages at the Asian Games to kickstart the Asian Games for Team India. And Tejaswini Bai, what will she be thinking now? Possibly two more raids to come. One for India. One for the Chinese Taipei. Can she go in and get two very, very quickly? I'm going to say three raids at least, Manish. 49 seconds. There could be a quick raid in there as well. The question is, does Pooja take her time? Does she consume the full 30 seconds? It's a, it's a real tactical challenge for Pooja. She's India's prime weapon. She's got to go for the kill now or next match. That's where it stands. The Chinese Taipei playing high line there, Sohail. I sense a multi raid here, multi point raid. Something tells me Pooja is going to pull off something. miraculous here we go here we go there we go on cue pooja hatwala something was just giving me the inkling that the chinese taipei defense was going to make an error been around a long time manish it's such a nervous nervous finish it's got to be oh, just, just one. one just one given oh good work that is therefore from the defense and now 37 seconds remaining manish this next raid i wonder whether india will play higher there you go higher defense they cannot afford to give feng a bonus here because then she'll spend time on that midline and then it'll be mounting pressure oh she's taken one away is it a bonus plus one or just one just one i think hang on hang on you're going to have to wait chinese taipei out in front huge moment Would you believe this moment ladies and gentlemen 12 seconds remaining a point taken bonus plus 1 India in the lead 
final raid, and it's not Feng. They've gone with Min Lin. Trailing by one, the buzzer's gone. This is the moment for Chinese Taipei. 20 seconds on the raid clock. The game clock has already wound down. India up by one, another attempt at the bonus. Could we have a tie to finish this matchup? She is looking at the clock. She needs more, five seconds. Bonus! We have a tie. We have a tied game to start the Asian Games for Team India. Unbelievable scenes, historic scenes. India will be deflated. Chinese Taipei celebrate this moment. They cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. What have we just witnessed here? My word. Feng, Min Lin, the stars of the show, and India have been rocked and shocked. The Indians have been stunned into silence. They came into this match as the more pedigreed side, the hot favorites with history on their side. But the present belongs to the Chinese Taipei. With seven seconds to go, India were in the lead. It was a game of time. It was about who blinks first. India blinked, Chinese Taipei, level scores, unreal. We talked about redemption for Team India, but that moment, the moments that led to it, amazing. We spoke of redemption for India versus Iran. Forget Iran, let's talk about Chinese Taipei. Because India have already been thrown the gauntlet. And we might have some new stars in the world of Kabaddi. They're not from Iran. Remember that one from Feng as well. That has been commitment personified through that encounter. Through Min, through Chen Sui Feng. This is a game to remember. Kabaddi changing forever. A new chapter written in Kabaddi folklore. Good for the sport. But watch out, Indian Kabaddi. The world is waking up. They are matching India toe to toe, shoulder to shoulder on skills, on game awareness, on court awareness, on tactical awareness. Overall, looks like uh, in the Chinese Taipei, the sport has found another shot in the arm. And who knows what this win.